the energetic weather for the next three weeks. It is June 6th, 2022. And as I look at this current lunar cycle, we're one week into this current lunar cycle. I actually see an energy that I call the void. It's the place where we go when we're creating something new and different, a bit of a reinvention. And this void has a bit of a darkness to it, but not in a bad way. It's like when we go into a place that is almost like the womb where there's very little light, we can then see the light more clearly and we can do this very deep inner reinvention creation process. So this lunar cycle might feel a little bit of a lower energy and it's because, and so you might not feel very expansive in this lunar cycle. You might feel kind of deep in and a deep pondering of the teeny tiny baby threads that some part of you, soul rider, and your body are weaving that has the capacity to sustain you in, an, in a beyond powerful way more powerful than you could ever have imagined. So this lunar cycle is going to require a little bit of a surrendering to some incredibly wise part of you, trusting that incredibly wise part of you to weave these exquisite new baby threads while you sit in the void in some dimension, crafting, weaving, reflecting, pondering, lots of deep in. And we did just get out of Mercury retrograde. And so it was a little intense, <laughs> kind of might've kicked our butts a bit. And um, maybe you felt a little humbled and pummeled, but it pushed us deep in. And so because we got pushed deep in, that's good. Now we get to take the baby threads and start weaving a new vibrational fabric that empowers you, inspires you. And then those threads that you're weaving in the void, they get activated by the light on solstice. So in the Northern hemisphere, summer solstice. In, in the Southern hemisphere, it's going to be winter solstice. But the solstice is an activation of those threads that you are weaving, and then it grows. And then I actually see like October, November, those threads that you are weaving right now over the next three weeks, they bloom in October, November. So really allowing for that process to happen. And I'll bring in some daily cups to support that process. We just did the tall cups that supported the retrieving of the creative energy and a revitalization. And again, I'll bring in a daily cup in the next few days or week to really help you with the weaving in the void. So enjoy the next three weeks as you reweave in the void. Oh.